know, one of the things that um, you've done really successfully over the years is geographic farming. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. When did you when did you get started in your farm? Um, how long did it take to get traction? Um, yeah, just uh, yeah, share sure, a little bit about that. Sure. Yeah. So I started about ten years ago uh, and just dabbled in it a little bit here, a little bit there, and uh, took some classes and realized that uh, over time, it's between the classes and just trial and error of my own, uh, you know how how to be consistent how much was too much how much was too little when were the best times to go out uh and uh just developed it but it took it took about three years to gain traction okay as far as they go in and, and actually uh developing into some listings and some sales right now three years to gain traction um outside looking in it seems like a long time sure okay yeah. um how did you you know what, what sustained you how did you um stick with it what what why was that the thing that you felt you were supposed to be doing? Yeah, it, it just, it felt like that was something that I was wired for. Uh, I, I enjoy being out with uh, people and just uh, blessing people as I walk through neighborhoods. It's great to be out in the sunshine and the wind and to, you know, hear the birds. It's, 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 a, it's a great time. It's, uh, I've got time actually personally to even meditate and pray between houses. And so it's, to me, it's a much more relaxing atmosphere uh, that fits with the way I'm wired. Yeah, I love that. Um, you know, it's not everybody's meant to do everything. Absolutely. And, um, and door knocking and getting out in the neighborhoods is not for everybody either. Right, so. right. But for you, it's, it's a very life-giving thing. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. You know, and you make it sound wonderful because honestly, yeah. the idea of going through a walk, <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, um, I, I assume that it isn't always um, just going for a walk, right? Sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Tell, yeah. tell so, me about some of the challenges. Oh, I mean, every once in a while you run into somebody who's not happy to see you. I okay. mean, I've had flyers thrown back at me. I've been told to get the bleep off my property and, you know, but those, those are the exceptions as, as, uh, for the most part, uh, the neighbors are a, a pleasure to be around and, and you, you get to know people over time. I mean, you get to know, Hey, these people are, are wonderful and, and it's great to chat with them. And then there's other people who are just not interested and, in, and part of it is going, you know what, my style and who I am is not for everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, there, but there's enough business out there for everybody and there's, you know, enough, uh, you know, different personalities and, uh, it, you know, you kind of work with who you fit with. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, um, Seth Godin is a, is a marketing guru I, I really enjoy. And he talks about the, um, the, the lowest viable audience or the smallest viable audience. Right. Yeah. And it really is like focus on the people you connect with. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. you're not Coca-Cola. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, and, and you, you prove it, you've done a very good uh, business that way. Okay. So, so those are some of the challenges. What are some of the things that the, the stories that are rewarding to you, you've walked through a neighborhood sure. and you had the opportunity to connect or yeah. to, you know, what are some of those stories? Yeah. So, I mean, everything from the, from the business aspect, you know, when I'm in a relationship with somebody for five, seven years and years past, they've always been like, Kevin, I'm not ready. Kevin, I'm not ready. And Finally, it's the day that I go, you know what, we're starting to think about it. Can you come on in and tell us what we should do at our house to get it ready? So, yeah. you know, that's when it's going all, all of those times of sewing and all those conversations uh, start to reap a reward in that sense. But then there are, there are definitely things outside of the business, too. I mean, there's there's just, you know, people, there's lonely people out there who, you know, invite you in to go and chat. I mean, I've I've prayed for people who uh, whose husband was in the hospital or who just lost a loved one. So, you know, there's there's all these opportunities. There's uh, part of the part of the reason I love the getting out in geographical farming and, and knocking on people's doors so much is I, I love the human, the humanity part of real estate. Mm -hmm. And that really allows you to connect with people uh, mm -hmm. directly. Yeah. And I see this is something I, I think is really critical. And, and I think you exemplify it so well. To be successful in geographic farming, it isn't about the number of doors, although that's important, yeah. right? It's yeah. not a burn and churn. Yeah. Um, it really truly is. I knocked on the door and this older woman invited me in to talk. And that may take your a good portion of your sure. afternoon, yeah. right? Um, yeah. But it's not necessarily always about the next sale. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's about the relationships. I when I go out and and knock on doors, I I ask God to say, God, give me the opportunities you want me to have, and whatever those opportunities look like. Yeah.